Next instructional video of this uh, racing lawnmower quick start guide. So, what I've got here is I've started doing the final assembly a little bit, so I'm done cutting, grinding, that type of stuff. So, I've put some paint on it on the top side before I get going, and I've put some paint on the front end, as you can see. So, what I've got going here is course you can see my steering column I got my shift linkage here now I like to move the shifter so it's up by the steering wheel it's easy to get to it's easy to shift down shift up and all that is is a piece of 5 16 rod and I've threaded it now this is the way I do it um, it's mechanically a little heavy I'm gonna say what I've done is I take a piece of flat bar and then I weld those little collars. You can pick them up at the hardware store and they'll have a set screw in them. There is a set screw right on the back side. And I'll show that in just a second. And then what I do is I put a jam nut on the bottom and a jam nut on the top. So I can adjust the height of it. And I do that for future build. Um, if I want to change this machine out to the next class level and go with the solid axle and put the transmission in, I want to be able to raise that shift linkage up if needed and then set it so so it does work so we'll just go through that real quick so I've got the threaded rod and then I turn around and threaded this other rod the connecting rod and it just has got a lock nut on both sides and I'm just using the stock pieces that come with the, the machine you find them on the blades um, that type of stuff and I'll show you on the other end and then what I've done on the other end is the same thing thread it and all it is is that piece right there and it's got a hole for it for the cotter pin as you can see the cotter pin right there so I did have to flip this shifter arm over they've got a square hole right there they sit on um, and I did have to drill this hole out so I flipped it over so it's pointing down and then I drilled another hole right out here on the edge where it's sitting in so that I could get some clearance so it would clear the side of the transaxle and the way this works is when I move the lever up here it just moves through the gears and I do the threaded piece so that it's adjustable let's just see that again real quick as you can see that and that's all that is so the other thing I've done here is I built my battery mount I like to do it this way I'm not a big fan of the bungee cords um, what I've done is I just take a piece of rod bend it and I weld it right there now the battery's not in and then I weld a tang here with a hole in it and then I have a J hook and then this will come across the top of the battery like so and then that'll just tighten down so makes it easy holds it in place um, yeah, it's a good way to go I came up with that on some of my other machines and it seemed to work and it's simple so that's about it and let's see what else I've done here well, I've got the front end on, as you can see now. I started doing the color scheme. And I think that's about it. We've gone over the idler, the tensioner. I've got my back pulley going with a 3-inch. And I think that's it for now. So this is kind of a short lesson. Oh, this is the other thing I've done. I'm going to try this. I actually took my pedals... I've mounted them, and I actually took my welder and welded, just put some tacks across it. What that does is I've noticed that when we're racing, and we've had races where we're racing in the rain, or if your feet get wet, that gets pretty slick. So I didn't really want some really sharp, sharp teeth, so I just put two rows of welding tacks across it to give you a little bit of grip. And so far it seems to work, so we'll see how it goes. Anything will help but your feet will slide off of that real fast so 
So I think that's about all I've got for right now. Um, I am going to flip it over and show you what I've done on the bottom as well. So, so let me flip this over and I'll show you what this looks like on the bottom.